Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing my September wrap up. So first off, for videos that I made this month, I did kind of like an announcements video. I don't think any of the announcements are really relevant anymore, but you can watch that if you'd like. Then I did my unboxing video for the Book Riot Quarterly Box. And then just this past week I did a discussion video kind of just talking about the idea of being well read, why we want to be well read, what does well read even mean. I wasn't trying to make any definitive statements in that video. I hope it came across that I really just don't know what well read means as well as like the purpose of it and things like that. I feel like it's just one of those words that doesn't make complete sense to me so it's hard for me to see the purpose behind achieving it but I think with the comments that you guys left it kind of helped me at least understand it a little bit better and I really appreciated everyone's comments so definitely go back and check that video if you haven't watched it already and definitely read the comment section because I think there were a lot of really interesting ideas and perspectives when it comes to being well read and then I had two sets of discussion videos kind of going on this month the first one was for War and Peace which I was reading with Jenny from Adultish Books if you had been reading War and Peace and you hadn't quite finished when the last video went up you're always more than welcome to to go back and check them out when you are finished. I definitely recommend keep pushing through, finish the book off at whatever pace you need. And also if you're looking for a spoiler free sort of like review or overview of the book, if you're interested in checking out the book but you're not really quite sure, I highly recommend checking out Jenny's video that she put up. She did a spoiler free review as well as like how to read the book or some tips for reading the book. And then the other set of discussion videos I did were for the Reblog Book Club. We read Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson and I love that book so much. It's probably one of the best books I've read this year. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. Spoiler alert for later on when I talk about the books I read this month. I love that book. Best book I read this month by far. And then in terms of book reviews I did this month, I did a review on Seconds by Brian Lee O'Malley. He is the author of the Scott Pilgrim graphic novel series and so I checked this one out and I really really enjoyed it. It's definitely a graphic novel that I recommend checking out whether or not you are a fan of Scott Pilgrim. And then I did a review on The Secret History by Donna Tartt which I didn't love quite as much as the rest of the world seems to have. I still really enjoyed it but if you want a review that has some of the downsides possibly to reading The Secret History I recommend checking that out. And then I did a review on Akata Witch by Nandi Okorafor. That is a middle grade fantasy series that takes place in Nigeria. I highly recommend it especially if you liked Harry Potter or if you like Percy Jackson you like fantasy series kind of for that age group. I highly recommend it. It's really interesting and a really different take on fantasies since it's not taking place in a western world. And then the final review that I just put up last week is for The Life Between Oceans by M.L. Stedman. I had eh, feelings about that one. I felt like it had a lot of potential but it kind of just disappointed me in the end. Feel free to check out that review if you want more information on that but I feel like it's one of those books where some people might really love it but it just didn't really work out for me. Now in terms of books that I read this month, I finished off reading We the Animals by Justin Torres. I don't think I'm going to do a full review on this one because I just don't have a lot to say on it. I, I don't know really how I feel about this book. It feels more like a series of like short stories or vignettes that are all centered around the same set of characters than it does a novel and I felt like the way the stories ended didn't really feel natural to the progression or what was happening earlier on in the book. I feel like the only reason why I finished it is because it's so short. I, if it was longer there's a very good chance I would have just given up on it completely. So I gave it 3 out of 5 stars because the writing's really beautiful and I felt like the first couple stories were really interesting but I just really didn't like the way it ended. It was kind of disappointing to me. Sorry to everyone who loves this book. Then of course I finished reading War and Peace this month which was the mammoth goal that we had for the past two months. I'm very proud of myself for reading it. I ended up giving this a four to five stars. I did have some issues with it but overall I really enjoyed it and it reminded me a lot of why I like reading classics and part of it is also just because I am proud of myself for reading this giant book. And then of course like I mentioned earlier I read Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson. Oh, so good. Like I want everyone to read this book. This is a book that deserves to be read by lots and lots and lots of people. I'm not going to do a full review on this. I'm just going to say read this book. Just read this book. Read this book. And then I also finished this month East of Eden by John Steinbeck. I love this book too. This was so good. It just reminded me so much about why I love John Steinbeck's writing. It wasn't at all what I expected. I didn't really have a lot of expectations going into this. I had no idea what the story was going to be about. But holy cow, there's 
there's a lot that happens in this book. I will be doing a full review of this this week so you guys can look forward to that. And I definitely will be picking up something else by Steinbeck probably before the end of the year. I'm thinking Grapes of Wrath but I might go with Cannery Row because that one's shorter. We'll see. And then I listened to the audiobook of Tiny Beautiful Things. I finished that off in September. I really enjoyed that book. I wanted to give Cheryl Strait a try, especially with Wild coming out later this year. So I kind of wanted to just hear her voice and her style. Because this is kind of like an advice book or a self-help book, there are parts of it where I was just like, eh, I don't really know if this is necessarily the advice I would give or the advice I would want to receive from somebody. But at the same time, I also find that Cheryl's writing is just really beautiful. Like, it's just beautiful prose and just the idea behind it or her general aim is always very positive, which I appreciate. It definitely does make me want to pick up Wild, so I'm hoping that I'll get that one on audio done before the movie comes out so that way I can see the movie. I've also been reading some comics and graphic novels as I have been doing over the course of the month, but I've decided that what I'm going to do is just every other month I'm going to do the comics roundup like I did in August, so I'm just going to group them all together and talk about them in one big video so that way everything doesn't feel disjointed. Talking about comics can be hard if you're just talking about issue to issue. There might not be necessarily a lot to talk about, but doing sort of like a roundup of various things works better, especially with things that are currently in progress or I'm not reading them necessarily like in a trade. And then in terms of books I am currently reading, I started I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings by Maya Angelou. I picked this one up for Banned Books Week. I always like to read one of the highly banned or challenged books that is listed on the ALA website. So this year I decided to finally pick this one up and I'm really enjoying it. I'm only about 120 pages-ish into this. I'm up pretty close to the halfway point. but. I'm kind of just taking my time with it. I'm really just enjoying like reading a couple chapters and then taking a break and then coming back to it later. This isn't really a book I feel like I need to like binge read or read quickly. Like I feel like I want to take it slowly and just enjoy the prose and just enjoy the stories and just really understand what's happening in this book. And I think especially since finishing War and Peace I've just been taking my time with books. With War and Peace and East of Eden I kind of felt like I needed to not necessarily rush but kind of like push myself so that way I would finish the books on time. After finishing those two I'm kind of just like you know what I'm gonna take a little bit of a break and just read at my own pace. And then the other book I am currently reading is Bad Feminist by Roxane Gay which is a collection of essays about race and feminism and pop culture and I'm really enjoying it. I'm about a third of the way through so far and this is another book that since they're essays I'm kind of just like picking it up, reading a couple, putting it down, moving on to something else. But I'm really enjoying it so far and I think I'm also enjoying it because it's sparking a lot of like ideas and just thoughts in my brain and I don't necessarily agree with everything that she's saying or like I can understand her viewpoint but I sort of have like a little bit of an opposing opinion and I'm really excited to just explore that when I talk about this book. So a review of this will probably be coming in October. You guys can look forward to that but definitely recommending this book to people because I feel like it sparks a lot of ideas which is always a really good thing with books. So yeah that was basically my September. If you guys have any questions about any the videos that I made, any of the books I read, feel free to leave a comment down below or if you have any comments about any of the books that I have read or I'm currently reading, obviously leave those down there as well. So yeah, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.